welcome back everyone so today i will be sharing an amazing and the free tool that you will surely love to have as this gives you many options that you have been searching from a long time now basically this is a software management tool that will be helping you to install multiple applications you can search different kind of software with the filter of uh, software categories you can update many kind of application by watching that what kind of update is available so very amazing tool so bring up any of your favorite browser and in the search you have to type winget gui just search for this term and hit the enter key and on the very top you will be getting winget ui the graphical interface for your package so basically if you have heard about the winget command which help you to download update and install any kind of application from your command prompt so this is the updated version where you can graphically manage your applications so click on the first link of this github website now here you have to scroll down a bit and on the right hand side you will find the releases click on the latest one and here if you want to read about it then you can read it then you have to come down to the very bottom and under the asset you have to click on uniget ui installer.exe click on it and it's a small file of 50.7 mb so it will be quickly downloaded so click on the downloaded file and this kind of select setup language box will be up now before running it if you are concerned that whether this application is safe or not so what you can do open up a new tab look for virus total and here in the file section you have to click on choose file go to the download click on uniget installer.exe click on open now it will be checking the file and bingo now you can see it says no security vendor and no sandboxes flag this file as malicious so it's a totally safe and neat and clean file so now once you are okay and satisfied you can come to the setup page click on okay click on next next and then it asks you the installation type so if you want to go with the portable one without installing then you can go with the portable installation but i want to use it very frequently so i will go with the regular installation i will click install and it will take few moment only and it will be completely installed on my device so finally click on finish and the uniget ui dashboard will now be loading up and it will come up with this kind of neat and clean page so now here you can see it's very easy to operate and from the left hand side you will find few kind of categories and on the very top you will find the discover packages so basically what you can do here you can search for any kind of software any kind of application and if you're not sure which application or software to download you can even search for the category of that particular software for example if i'm looking for any kind of uninstaller to uninstall the application on my computer then in search for packages at the right in top i will click on it and type uninstaller and once i hit the enter key so you can see that it's showing me all the available uninstaller here like a shampoo uninstaller bc uninstaller bulk crap uninstaller geek uninstaller iobit uninstaller the revo uninstaller and so on wise program uninstaller so it will list you all kind of program along with the other information like the package id the version that, that basically which version it will be installing and along with the source that from where exactly it's downloading so you can see iobit uninstaller and the source is ms store so it will be downloading the application directly from the microsoft store and this can be also very useful for the people whose microsoft store is not working not able to download any kind of application so alternatively what you can do you can use this application to download the microsoft store application and so on you can see the other uh, sources from the community from the chocolately from the amazon store winget so whichever you want to install you can select that and then you can click on this administrative icon that says install as an administrator a part of that you get many other options you can click on installation process options architecture to install you can keep it to default x86 or x64 so if you're using the x64 architecture you can go with it if you are using the arm 64 you can use it if you are not sure you can keep it to default then you can select run as admin so that it should have all the full permission to install the application version to install if you want to go with the latest one you can select it if you want to download any other or any other build 
then you can choose from the list here now once you are done you can click on install and the application will start downloading so very useful guys and similarly you can search for many other kind of categories like video editing software a uh, media player or any kind of tune-up tool you can type the name here and it will list you all the software along with the sources now next we have the software update and you can see once i click on it it shows me a small number here 17 that indicate that there are 17 applications that need to be updated and here these are the application on my computer like audacity CapCut, discord microsoft visual c now this is a very useful tool guys because many people miss many kind of update they are not sure that which application is updated or not and in order to find out they have to manually open each and every application that can take a long time so now here you can see all the information on one page only like audacity this is the package id this is the current version that i'm using and this is a new version that is available and it shows the source from where it basically it will update it that will be through the winget command and so i have the CapCut application with the current version of 3.4 and now the latest one is available with 4.0 so if you want to update all the application keep them selected then click on this icon of the administrator that says update as administrator and all these application will be updated if you want to uncheck if you want to leave anyone then you can simply uncheck it and that application will not be updating now part of that there are many other options here like if you click on the filter one so you get few options then in the search mode you can choose the both option the package name the package id so if you want to search any application according to the package id only then you can do that okay so very useful tool guys so spend some time learn more about this and after that we have the installed packages now it will show you all kind of application that are being installed on your device and from here you can list each and every application that basically you are not able to find from the windows control panel so amd chipset software amd radeon software amd software anyburn app installer audacity and now here also you will find few of the application that give you a blue arrow with the arrow up and that indicate that for this software there is an update available and if you hover upon it it says this package can be upgraded to version 3.5.1 so from here also you can manage the application you can select it now if you hover upon it it says uninstall as administrator so if you want to uninstall any kind of application you can do it from here if you need the package detail then you can click on it so again it's a very useful application because it will list you many kind of detail like what kind of application it is what kind of version it is using and if you want to uninstall any application then you can do it from here only then you have the package bundle and this option is basically for the developer who want to install any kind of application in a bulk so they can create a bundle here that will be bulk installing the application if you need a detailed information on this then you can let me know in the comment section all right so these are the information guys this is a free tool that basically help you and it's totally free and it's a totally safe software so i recommend that you must have on your computer and even you don't require too much of uh, resources so it will not be affecting any kind of your performance so that's all guys for today and hopefully you enjoyed the video found this software application uh, very useful if yes then let me know in the comment section that what are your thought about this software and make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye